Yo, what's going on? What's up? Welcome back to another video today, guys. I hope everyone's doing good. Everyone's doing well. And as you can tell by the title today, we're not going to review any retro Jordans, nor are we going to review any dunks. Today, we're going to be reviewing an Air Max One that's been collaborated with Concepts. And if you've been on this channel watching my videos, you'll know that we are no stranger to Air Maxes over here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this review. And you have it, the Nike Air Max One X Concepts. Mellow man, and I believe they have two other colorways named Heavy, and then there's another one where they have like a purple paisley um, design going around the mud guard. So the Heavy did drop on Concepts today, as of March 12th, along with these dropping on sneakers. And the Heavy will probably also drop on sneakers um, next week on Saturday if they follow the same routine. Now it's with a purple pair. Um, no word on that. I don't know if it's for the family. I have no idea. I have no information on that as of right now. So. Um, hopefully I'm able to get my hands on that, but if not, you know what I'm saying, it is what it is, but anyway, let's go ahead, move forward, we're going to get into some background information on this shoe, and then we're going to hop right into the review, so let's do it, man. Alright, so coming at you guys with the background information, I'm going to try to summarize this and make it as short as I can, but, um, so pretty much console is trying to capture the late 60s vibes, more specifically, the, um, the festivals, you know what I'm saying, because they say, you know, festivals you go on for days, I don't know, <laughs> um, I'll put the link down below if you want to go ahead and read more about this shoe as well. Alright, so kicking off this review, we're going to go ahead and start it off with the box, of course, here you go, Nike box, and then of course you can see some of their details in there, like, I think this is like a military print, of course you got the big swoosh with the flowers in there, uh, purple paisley, and yeah man, so pretty cool, concepts right there, and then you got this, um, I'm not sure what that logo is right there, but it is imprinted on the toe box of the shoe as well. Back, open it up. Got some concepts, uh, paper in there, pretty cool, floor print. So it's pretty dope that they do that with the box. Anyway, label in the box reads, Nike Air Max 1 SP, I'm guessing it stands a special project. Colorway is olive green slash multicolored cell. 11 and a half, and I think retail was 160. I'm not sure though. There you go, there you have it. So now, let's jump right into this shoe. All right, so not a fun part, we're gonna be moving straight into the shoe now. Start off with this sock line, of course you got this burgundy corduroy material. So you guys see that right there. Uh, man, okay. Anyway, moving on, not too much in the end, so. Uh, right in there on the tag because you got that classic Nike um, sign right there with the orange swoosh. Below that says concepts and like that rainbow color. Then you got your velvet um, tongue right here, velvet material, bro. And anything that utilizes velvet or you know satin, like I'm all for. So that burgundy velvet material because you got your, la your laces right here. Burgundy and it did come with a spare of white. White and then you also have like velvet laces, which I think is hella dope. So you know what I'm saying? If I end up keeping these, I'm definitely gonna be throwing on these um velvet laces for sure. Coming on down, closer look, there's your bovine. I'm not sure why they put this in here, but uh maybe they had they were just like, you know what, we got extra material, just use it, utilize it. Coming on down to the toe box now. I don't know if you can really see that stitching right there, but like I was saying before, um, like on the lid of the box that symbol. It's stitched right here in the toe box, so I'm not sure if it's a concept, um, you know, logo or what's up with that, but yeah. So you got this acid wash material, jean material, come down, this is what they, you know, we're talking about that military surplus right here in the mud guard that wraps all the way around. Of course, got your little swoosh right there. Guitar pick right here, logo Nike on the back. Moving on down, moving on down, got that Paisley bandana material. Of course, you got those loose ends right there from the stitching. Nike Air in the back. I'm um, kind of giving me those Union LA vibes where they have like the loose stitching as well. And then inside of the shoe, you got your nice flower swoosh. And man, this is this is nice, you know. Moving on down, you got that nice cement slash. Uh, it kind of giving like a greenish tint to it. Um, so midsole right there. The air bubble. Bottom sole black. So, you know. That's it for the shoe. Of course, I think I've shown you guys everything, all the details. Um, this is a nice, beautiful shoe, man. So let's go ahead and get our thoughts and opinions and hurry up and end this video because I am running out of space. So let's do it. So my thoughts and opinions on the shoe, man. Um, personally, I like it, man. When I had it on feet, it was easy. They felt comfortable. I'm really loving the velvet tongue. I'm really loving the velvet laces. Um, you know. This isn't my favorite colorway out of the three. I think my favorite is that purple colorway. Like I said, I don't know if that's friends and family or what they're doing with that that's gonna release later, 
but I really like that purple colorway, so that's my favorite. This is my second favorite, the Mellow and Heavy, which again, dropped today. Not really my favorite. I mean, I might go for it on sneakers, but uh, I think I'm good on that. So, um, yeah, I'm, these might actually go into the collection, but what do you guys think? Um, out of the three colorways, which one do you guys like? Do you guys really like this shoe? Are you guys messed with the vibe, the background story of it? I mean, personally, me, I can't, you know, relate. I've been to, I don't even think I've ever been to a festival, nor that I grew up in the 60s, so I can't really relate. I don't really listen to too many bands as well, so. Uh, background story really has no meaning to me, so it doesn't really hit home, but the shoe itself is dope, so. Uh, with that being said, I'm just gonna end it off right there. Rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs up the video. Definitely, definitely thumbs it up. Leave a comment down below, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you guys stay safe out there, and uh, see you guys in the next video.